All right, our last recording in this unit is, or in this concept, is over surface area and volume of spheres. Now, remember, spheres are like balls. So, a sphere is a set of all points in space that are equidistant from a given point. That's the definition of a sphere. The point that they're equidistant from is called the center of the sphere. The intersection between a plane and the center of a sphere is called a great circle. And the circumference of a sphere is measured by the circumference of a great circle in that sphere. The radius of a sphere is a segment that has one end at a point at the center of the sphere and the other point is on the sphere. And the diameter of a sphere is a segment passing through the center of the sphere with its endpoints on the sphere. It's exactly twice the length of the radius of the sphere. And a great circle divides the sphere into two what we call hemispheres. So half of a circle or half of a sphere, sorry. Okay, so here's the formula to find the surface area of a sphere. It is 4 times pi r squared. Now this is surface area, so it's units squared, where r is the radius of the sphere. So let's use this. On the right, this sphere has a radius of 5, so let's write down our surface area formula, 4 times pi r squared, and let's plug in 5, <clears throat> and again, we can answer in terms of pi, or we can answer as a number. If we answered in terms of pi, this would be 100 pi centimeter square, or if you multiplied the 100 by pi, you'd get 314.16 rounded centimeters squared. Anytime you multiply by pi, you're going to have to round. Now, in this second figure, this is a hemisphere. So, first they give us the diameter of the hemisphere, which is 2, and I know that radius is half of that, so the radius of this hemisphere is 1, and I know that the surface area of an entire sphere is 4 pi r squared. So if I take that and divide it by 2, I should have the surface area of a hemisphere. So let's do that. Let's plug in 1 two for a radius of our hemisphere, and then we can answer as either in terms of pi, which would be 2 pi feet squared, or you can answer as a number, which would be rounded about 6.28 feet squared for the surface of that hemisphere. Now the volume of a sphere is a little bit different. It's 4 thirds times pi r cubed. And you have to pay attention because it is in units cubed. So it's not pi r squared, it's pi r cubed, where r is the radius of the sphere. All right, let's use this. Find the volume of the sphere with a diameter of 4 inches. Answer in terms of pi. Well, let's write down our formula first. 4 thirds pi r cubed. And then I know this is a 4 inch diameter, so half of that is 2. So my radius is 2. So I'm going to put my radius into my formula. And then I am going to solve it by taking 4 thirds times 2 to the third. And you could answer like this, 32 thirds pi inches cubed, or you could change it to a mixed number, 10 and 2 thirds pi inches cubed. You just have to look carefully at what Math Excel is asking you. All right, let's find the volume of this sphere. Write down our surface area formula. Oh, sorry, our volume fo formula for a sphere, and then plug in our radius. And again, it would be 179.59 centimeters cubed, not centimeters squared. Now, we can also use this formula, just like we have the others, to find a missing dimension. So I want you to find the diameter of a sphere with a surface area of 144 pi square centimeters. Well, 
let's write down our formula for the surface area of a sphere. And now let's enter things that we know. Now, first off, I don't see any diameter in here at all, but I do see radius. And if I can find the radius and double it, then I'll have my diameter. So instead of surface area, let's put 144 pi and, for the, and write down the rest of our formula. And to solve this for r, because I want to find the radius so I can double it, I'm going to have to get rid of that 4 thirds pi. So I'm going to divide both sides by 4 thirds pi. On the right, my pi's cancel, and 144 divided by 4 thirds is 108. Or, I mean, on the left, sorry. And on the right, my 4 thirds pi divided by 4 thirds pi gives me 1, which I'm not going to write down. Now, I don't want r cubed, though. I want r. So to get rid of a cube, I have to take the cube root of both sides. Now, on the right side, that cancels off and just gives me r. And on the left side, it gives me an irrational number that I am going to round to about 4.76. I'll multiply that by 2, and I get that the diameter of this sphere is about 9.52 centimeters. All right, and again, I think you have everything that you need, so now it's time to start your homework.